Welcome back to Living Local. Tomorrow, the Figgy Art Museum is giving families a great opportunity to explore and create. Free Family Day includes free admission to the museum and art activities for the entire family. Joining us in the studio today, we have Brian Allen with the Figgy Art Museum. Thank you so much for being back here, Brian. Well, thanks for having me. So how did the Free Family Day come to be? Yeah, that's a good question. So our mission is bringing art and people together, and this is one of the ways that we do that. So. It's been around so as, long, as long as the Figgy's been around, even before that, with the Davenport Museum of Art. Well, such a wonderful resource for our community. So when is the event happening? Tomorrow. Tomorrow! Yeah, what time yeah. can people so, show up? Uh, we open at 10, mm -hmm. we close at 5, the art activities go until 1. So that's always one distinction I like to make, is that uh, the art activities that are free are from 10 to 1. And then we're still free beyond that, you can get into the museum for free. Uh, but there aren't the art activities that are special in the studios after 1 o'clock. Okay, so you want to make sure and get there before 1 o'clock so you can take yep. advantage of all those wonderful activities you guys have provided. Right. So who is the event for? Who can go? I mean, anyone can go. It's open to everyone. Uh, I think that we especially target families to come out and youngsters and, and get some hands-on activities going in our studios. And so for everybody. Well, I think the timing could not be better. You know, we're at the end of February right now. We're still, it's, I mean, actually this weekend's going to be pretty nice weather, but most of the time yeah. it's like we have that cabin fever. So I love that you guys are providing this event yeah. to get families out of the house and get interactive and create and explore. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the various activities that will be happening in the studios throughout the museum. Sure. So we have activities going in our spaces, like all the time that the museum's open. So in our Family Activity Center, Learn to Look space, our Studio One space, there are always activities going. But the special activities for our family day are going to be with printing, uh, with collage, and even doing some clay. Awesome. And yeah. you brought some examples, actually, today. Yeah. So mm -hmm. walk us through what you brought in. Sure. So on this panel that, that's over here that's very colorful, this one we're being inspired by the artist uh, Didier William, who's on exhibit right now. And so people are going to be able to do um, like collage work where they're putting patterned paper and thinking about pattern uh, on there as well as stamping and doing some some tempera sticks. So it's kind of like painting but with a drawing stick. Awesome. Yep. Those are so very pretty and I, I just love the, the different vibrant colors. Right. What else do we have? Well, we're also being excited by George Olson's work and um, he is a regional artist. He's, he's coming from Woodhull, Illinois. And he has this body of work up right now that's kind of unusual for the things that people know of him is doing now. It's an older body for him. And he's printed from found objects. So we're trying to be inspired by that. And like the one that I'm holding here has actually been, it's a bracket, like a metal bracket that's been glued onto a board. And then we've inked it up with an ink roller and printed it. And the print is right here. And you can see that then we're using actual objects to create art images. I love how resourceful this is the found objects. It's interesting when you look at this, like I wonder where these look like little pieces of wood um, mm -hmm. and, and other types of like metal fragments that you would find right. in random places. A rabies tag from a dog. On oh my one. gosh, <laughs> I was wondering, I'm like that looks like a dog tag almost. That's so interesting. And, and then this one over here mm -hmm. is kind of a conglomeration of different artifacts. Yeah, we do these sometimes called collagraphs where you're able to make a print from things that are around with texture. And uh, the, the cotton balls were a little tricky to print, but um, you know, we're using things that we find in our studios, items, objects, cast off objects, and trying to, to make art with it. Right, and that's the print of that one right there. So you can see just how those various objects came out after they were inked up and what they did on paper. So interesting there. And last but not least, we do have clay as well. Clay, right, mm -hmm. and we, we're working with the Living Proof exhibit. They're doing their creative session with us at the Figgy, and so they're providing the clay for us to be able to give out to families. And it's a little bit more free where it's not as guided of a project as to what you're doing. It's more like the experience of getting to work with clay and make something and take it home. Oh, the Living Proof Exhibit is a wonderful organization, yes, the Quad Cities. I mm -hmm. love that you guys are partnering with them. In addition to all these hands-on activities, mm -hmm. what can families expect as far as exhibits at the museum? Sure, well, all the exhibits are free to get into and, and go out and, and check out. So some of the artists I mentioned to you, like Didier William, uh, George Olson. I think to get a good idea of like what these artists artwork looks like it would be great to go to our website and mm -hmm. check it out. Um, and then we have the Rock Island Art Guild exhibition going on right now too. So that's a good one to, to look at. And in addition to all of our permanent collection exhibits. So yeah, there's a lot to see. There's just a lot going on. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, and now you also have a family activity center. Is there anything special going on there? Well, it's, it's, it's one of those spaces that I was mentioning earlier that, that we have activities going all the time. 
And so that's a great space. I like it. I'm a parent of three mm -hmm. to be able to go in there and you can close the doors and, <laughs> yeah, and you can read and do building activities, open drawing, all kinds of stuff in that space. And so that will be available too. Wonderful. Brian, yeah. what do you personally enjoy the most about Free Family Day? Uh, I just like being able to make art relevant to everyone mm -hmm. and bringing in families and breaking down that barrier of the admission cost, which although it's you know, we sh maybe shouldn't think it's a barrier because it's not that much more than a cup of coffee or something. Right. It, it, it is sometimes. Mm -hmm. And so I like that that's not a thing. And so we want to thank our sponsors of the Quad City Times and Northwest Bank and Trust for being able to help us with that. Awesome. Yep, mm -hmm. definitely takes all the community support mm -hmm. to be able to put an event like this on for free. Again, this is no charge. You get right. a museum for free. You get all these activities for free. A really fun time for families. Well, Brian, thank you so much for giving us all the details. All right, thank you. All right, if you would like some more information, you can visit biggieartmuseum.org. We'll also have those details posted on ourquadcities.com.